Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. take this time to thank everybody involved in this huge, huge event. This has been a tremendous end to the year on the zone. This fight for me is the 2020 fight of the year. When you get the number one of any division facing the pound for pound number one of boxing, this is very, very special. And I wouldn't be able to make this fight if the fighters didn't want to compete, if they didn't want to chase greatness. And on Saturday night in front of 12,000 people, and I can't tell you how good it will feel to even have that many people back in the arena at the Alamo Dome. You will witness the fight of the year for the WBC, WBA, Ring Magazine, 168 pound world championship. And right now I want to bring up two great fighters. Firstly, if we could bring up Callum Smith, WBA, Ring Magazine, 168 pound number one fighter in a division, of course, the pound for pound number one, multi-weight world champion as well. Please, Canelo Alvarez, can you join us to the stage as well? Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good mate, you. Welcome. We'll start with the champion, Callum. I've never seen anyone relaxed in such since I've promoted boxing. From the moment this fight was discussed, from the moment that we were negotiating the fight, from even this week in the hotel, Super relaxed. Is that because you're in a great frame of mind? You know you're ready. This is your moment. It's just I'm, it's, I'm a relaxed person anyway. I'm quite laid back, but I'm in the position I've always wanted to be ever since I was a little boy and especially since turning professional. The goal was to always reach the very top, be involved in the biggest fights possible on the biggest stage for, for the biggest prizes. And I mean, I've got to just enjoy it. There's no, no bigger fight possible for me. I finally got the fight I wanted and I'm in a very good, good place mentally and physically. I feel really good and I'm ready to perform. And I'm just excited. I can't get you know, worked up or nervous or anything. Let's say I'm in a position I've always wanted to be in. Obviously, turned pro many years ago with Matchroom. Many felt like you should have been in the Olympic team. You used that to really drive your success forward. I think one thing that people haven't really picked up on in this fight is I don't think you've barely lost a round mm. as a professional fighter. Obviously, undefeated. But, you know, obviously the fight against John Ryder was the fight. You, yeah. you did lose some rounds in that fight. But yeah. before that, against George Groves, against Hassan and Dam, you know, for the European Championship, against Rabras, against Rocky Fielding, a, a so far to this point. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's what, you know, I always want to be a world champion and imagine there'd be a few Rocky moments on the way. And I, I've become a world champion and still didn't really know. I don't think people knew how good I was. I kind of done it all my own way. I never really had a tough test along the way and it was more, let's say, credit to myself. I made you know, a lot of tough fights on paper easy, but I sat down and said, well, what more do I want? I won my world title. Now I want the biggest fights possible. I want to test myself against... And he's, he's done a, you know, multiple weights. He, he's a superstar. He's pound for pound. I believe I, I'm good enough level also. I've proved I'm a world-class fighter. Now I want to prove I can compete at the, the elite level. We saw the head-to-head -head and you know, we've seen against Rocky Fielding and Sergei Kovalev. Yeah. You know, those pictures go global and everybody gasps at the size difference as well. But you bring something very different to this fight as well, don't you? You bring the power, you bring the youth, the experience as well. But you difference, obviously, got to make this size difference play in this fight. But, you know, you, you look at it as an advantage, so you have to make it count. Yeah. I'm not, just, I'm not just a big lump with limited ability. I believe I've got skills to go with it. I don't think I believe in being a position that I'm in now if I didn't have no skills and ability. And you know, tactically, I believe we've got it. We've got it. And I've just got to perform and perform and do exactly what I know I can. And you know, I've watched Canelo over the years. And as a fan, I enjoy watching him. But I've always watched him, believe in if I can beat him. I've always felt stylistically I've got the style to do it. And I've got a chance to prove it. Said to Joe as well, obviously, this is people talking about a great upset, if you like. To you, is it an upset? I mean, we know that you're number one in the division. You deserve to be here. You deserve yeah. this opportunity. But you see this much more as a 50-50 fight than some of the bookmakers. Yeah, for me, obviously, listen, I like my chances in this fight. I wouldn't call for a fight that I believe I lose. I've been, been asking for this fight because I believe I believe I win it. I understand I'm the underdog. You know, you look at your social media, people 
a lot of people don't really give me a chance in this fight, but I've been here before. I was the underdog in my world title fight and if anything, it gives me a little bit more motivation, a little bit of a point to prove prove my worth and no, I believe I deserve to be in this fight. I'm number one in the world. I, I work very hard to be in the position I'm, I'm at. Now I'm enjoying the being world champion and being involved in these big fights, which, like I said before, I've dreamed of being in since I was a little boy. Obviously, you had that experience of boxing around the world. You made your debut in America a few years ago. You boxed in Saudi Arabia against George Groves. You boxed at Madison Square Garden against Hassan and Dam. You boxed in all the arenas in the UK as well. Do you think that calmness will put you in good stead? Remember when we were scrambling around trying to make this fight when yeah. Canelo said he was going to announce it on his Instagram? <laughs> I think you went to bed first and just turned your phone off and said to, to Sean yeah. the team, "Yeah, whatever, just let me know." Yeah, yeah, that was it, it, the, the negotiations were, were long and, and mentally draining, but I always just wanted this fight, regardless of you know, where it was in the world. I just wanted to, I wanted to be in the biggest fights possible, and this always was the minute. The minute I knew he was going to campaign at 168, I knew I had to just keep winning and make sure the only fight that made the most sense was me. And I worked my way to number one in the division and I finally... But I'm not here to just you know, be involved in it. In I'm here to win. I want to I want to remain undefeated. I want to stay world champion. No, we also mentioned he's still got goals to achieve in the sport. So have I. I've still got more world titles. I want another one this weekend. Canelo, welcome, Sal. Thank you, thank you. This is another big challenge for you. It's something that you live by in boxing. Así es, ya estamos acostumbrados a los grandes retos. Gracias a Dios tenemos este esta pelea en el 2020 que ha sido difícil para para todos. Vamos a cerrar con broche de oro con un con un gran campeón y pues estoy con, no motivado como siempre. Yes, we are here and we're always ready for great challenges. Thank God we've been able to make this fight in 2020 and we're ready to close out the year with a big bang and close it you know, as a champ. A different, no MGM, grand arrival, no 80,000 people. We've seen with Anthony Joshua last week, he actually quite enjoyed being in this bubble, things being a little bit quieter, being able to focus the mind. Are you enjoying the experience? It's very different. Sí, la verdad que sí. Lo, lo sigo disfrutando al 100%. Obviamente no se ve la gente en el, en el hotel, los gritos, las banderas, pero pues es normalmente lo que hago la semana de la pelea, estar en mi cuarto lo más que se pueda, atender a los medios, prácticamente sin ver gente en el, en el hotel. Yes, it's uh, very similar. You know, it's just different where you don't see the people, you don't see the flags, you don't see everything that uh, surrounds fight week. But for the most part, it's very, very similar to what I do. I stay in my room, focused, you know, take care of uh, media, press, all of that. But it's, uh, it's very similar, you know, stay focused and just ready for what's coming. When I was talking to, to Eddie Reynoso, one thing that struck me about you and Eddie is you want the chances, you want to fight the best. Your resume, 2020, uh, sorry, in, in, uh, last year, you boxed Daniel Jacobs for the World Middleweight Championship. You moved up two divisions to fight Sergey Kovalev for the light heavyweight championship. Now in your next fight, you fight the number one at 168 pounds. Boxing is all about you to, to the big challenges and fight the best. Sí, para mí todo lo que me genere, eh, obviamente, un riesgo es lo que me gusta. Es para mí, para mí, es historia, ¿no? Calum Smith es el número uno en las 168 libras. Queremos hacer campaña en este peso y, pues, con el con el número uno en esa división, ¿no? Entonces me gustan los retos y estoy listo para para seguir haciéndolo y, y, y tomar las grandes peleas. Yes, I like risk. I like taking risk. Taking this fight is a risk. We, we are, I'm fighting the number one at the 168 pounds, so these are challenges for me, and I continue to bring challenges forward, and I like the risk of it. I like challenges to continue making history. Whenever we see the head-to-head, -head, you know, we saw it against Rocky Fielding, we saw it against Sergey Kovalev, see it against Cam Smith. He's a big guy, right? You know, and, and is that exciting, these, these bigger men who are coming up through the divisions? Sí, sin duda, no, ya sabíamos que muy alto, pero aparte pues tiene muchas cualidades boxísticas también, que eso lo hace aún más completo, pero pues eh, con mi experiencia en, en mi nivel, <coughs> en mi nivel tengo que adaptarme a cualquier situación y tengo la experiencia y las habilidades para poder sobrellevar esto y sé lo que tengo enfrente, pero estamos listos para esto. We know that he's tall, we also know that he has great boxing quality so that makes him dangerous. But with my experience and the level of my boxing, you know, we're ready for this and to continue making history and taking risks like this, this is what I'm here for. Finally, both of you, Callum, Joe said that obviously the plan to end this fight inside the distance. Now it's hard to come away 
onto foreign ground and, and get that win? Is the plan to try and be explosive in this fight and try and do damage within the distance? Um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I, I've got to disagree. I believe it's another goal when I dominate. I win rounds well. I, I believe I get a fair, fair share at the, at the judges, but every fight I always go in and you know, stick to the tactics and I always find if I do land, I've got the power to hurt anyone in the world. I, know I believe I'm a good finisher. Over the years, I've always got rid of people when, when I hurt them. So, the tactics are always the same for me. I never go in, you no know, going and looking for a knockout, but you no, know, it's always there in the back of my mind. I'm always ready. I'm you know, quite spiteful when I get someone hurt, and this is exactly the same. I've got to treat Canelo Alvarez like any other fighter. Go in there. I'm a world champion. I believe in my own ability, and I believe I can beat anyone. A big puncher. You're a big puncher as well. Fans watching around the world on the zone this Saturday. We're going to see an explosive fight. Así es, no. Siempre salgo a dar lo mejor de mí. Y pues uh, hablar ahorita aquí, pues no tiene caso, ¿no? Siempre cuando empieza, cuando suena la campana es cuando se ve la realidad. Y la verdad es que yo siempre salgo mejor y a ganar todo voy a aprovechar. Y si no, tengo la experiencia necesaria para poder ganar con los 12 asaltos, ¿no? Pero obviamente siempre ganar por nocaut. Yes, that's what we're here for. A good fight, a very good fight. Opportunity arises, then yes, I will take that because people, the fans, always like to see a fight arises. I will take it. Thank you, Sal and Callum and all the teams as well. This fight, the fight of the year, this Saturday, live on the zone. Do not miss it. It's been a tough year. I want to thank these guys delivering, as I said, the best fight of 2020. The number 168 pound in the world against the pound for pound king, Canelo Alvarez. Head to head here and I'll call up both trainers as well. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.